Welcome to whisky.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whisky.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster. And today we're tasting the Glen Farkles Heritage 60 degrees cast strength, which means 60% ABV alcohol priced in the lower 40s. That's actually really a bargain if you look at the uh, Glen Farkles 101 that's just yeah, a couple, a handful of bucks more expensive. 105. Yeah, 105. <laughs> yeah. And it's same strength. It's also cask strength. And yes, that is a whiskey with cask strength 60%. And actually, they do that at Len Farkless where they mix the casks so that they come out with 60%. They actually select the cask that they have the, that in range and mix it and fill up with um, higher or lower cast until they have the perfect mixture, which is really, really hard to do because you have to do it by flavor and by strength. Yes. Um, typically, if you have a high strength whiskey, it's no cast strength mm -hmm. because it's so tedious, so much work. But uh, Glen Farkles has, well, close to every cask is sherry cask so they do not have these very few sherry casks where we have to be very careful with so they have a broader band of casks to select from but they have to have a computer program which calculates the single cask uh, take those 15 casks and then a third of that or a mm -hmm. third and two ounces of that. I, I think <laughs> as they told me they don't do it with computer programs uh, I think uh, if you want to uh, hear the original tone that they, they gave me, you have to watch the distillery video. And I think they are pretty old school. And also I think that, uh, yeah, the, the Oloroso Sherry cast they use for this one or the 105, uh, they are pretty similar in taste. So maybe that's a bit easier to mix and then you just mix for, for alcoholic strength. But let's talk about the the <laughs> speciality yeah. of Glen Farkless Heritage. And that is uh, that the Glen Farkless Heritage is actually hand selected by the family grant, which are the owners of the Glen Farkless distillery. So yeah, the distillery Glen Farkless is an independently owned uh, company by the uh, grant family. And yeah, this is kind of yeah, their heritage. From time to time, there are heritage uh, bottles available. So one time they had a bottle uh, celebrating uh, the sales price of the distillery some hundred years ago. So some pounds and shillings and something. So and this is now some heritage in general. And if you smell at that whiskey, you have, mm. well, close to non-alcoholic impact on your nose so this is 60 percent abv i will not have that on my tongue straight <laughs> neat no not at all because this pure alcohol or high strength alcohol will tear out the water out of your tongue out of your tasting buds and they will be paralyzed and then you have nothing so i smell on the whiskey at cast strength but then i dilute it to some drinking strength. And if you want to go down to 40% ABV drinking strength, then you have to add 50% of water to this liquid. So that's a lot. So if you like uh, to drink your whiskey in normal strength, strength, then you will get out more than a full liter out of that bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a yeah, mm -hmm. lot of vanilla, caramel, friendly uh, resins, fruitiness, sherry fruitiness, smooth dark yeah mm -hmm. what do you for, expect for me i have to say uh, i find it a bit more fresh and it feels a little bit younger than the 105. it does have that nice um touch to it with the with the vanilla caramel and a lot of fruits in there although when i put my nose a bit in too deep then i get hit by the 60 percent uh, mm -hmm. I never had that with uh, Glen Farkless before, but I think the the Glen Farkless hand at 105 it feels like it's a bit older. Oh, a lot lighter with water. Yeah, a lot lighter. 
So I'm down to not 40, 45 to 50, probably. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Still strong. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I should have taken a little bit more of water. So hefty on the tongue, bringing some some oakiness through, nuttiness, chocolate, lightly, well, dark chocolate in the aftertaste, this very, very light bitterness, long warming. Yeah, and this had been close to 50, I think. <laughs> mm. 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 I think this one profits a really a lot from the water. It's just a vibrant explosion of fruit in a mixture between uh, fresh fruits, fermented fruits, dried fruits. There's so much fruitiness going on in there. A mixture between apples, raisins, dried apples, candied apples, just a whole fruit basket of flavor in here. I love it. And I think I, I've hit like 48, 45, something around there as well. I added more water. It's a bit cloudy though. Mm -hmm. So it, it is, I think it's uh, not chill filtered, not colored. So mm -hmm. that's what you get when you dilute one. Adding a little bit more of water really helps the whiskey. Mm -hmm. So it's glowing in your mouth. It's full and it's uh, hazy in it. And this is due to the, uh, well, the micellars in it, which are in the normal high strength, uh, completely saluted. And by reducing the strength, that's uh, hazing out because no longer able to keep in the solution and has to, to go out and bring the, this uh, light haziness. It's not a quality issue. It sh just shows that this whiskey was very, very straight from the cask and has no extreme uh, or cool chill filtering at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just an explosion of flavor in your mouth. It has, it has a lot of strength, even though I think it's a little bit younger than the 105. Also reflected in the price as it's a couple of bucks um, lower. And yeah, so I do really I like it, and I think it's a really good whiskey. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so yeah, that was it with our review of the Glenfarclays Heritage 60 cask strength. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.